Hey guys, Jody here from Made by Jody 666, and today we're making boobs. Besides being fun because they are well, they're boobs. Uh, these actually these have another purpose as well. Uh, these crochet boobs have a lump inside each one, and they can be very helpful as a tool to help teach people about breast cancer awareness and demonstrating how to perform a self-exam. They can be used in schools and hospitals. I gave a pair to my doctor to have at her office and to help remind us all about the importance of regular checkups. So for this pair of boobs, I used impeccable yarn by Loops and Threads. To begin, I always like to sketch out what I'm making. I am not much of a sketcher, but these boobs are looking pretty good to me. To start, we use the pink yarn and we start with a magic circle and then complete six single crochet inside the magic circle. Pull the tail to close the circle when you're done. Round two is one single crochet in each stitch, which is six stitches in total. Don't forget to secure the tail with the knot, and I like to cut off the little extra bit. Next for round three, we'll do two single crochet in each stitch, or an increase in each stitch, and that will give us a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. For round four, we'll do a single crochet, followed by an increase in the next stitch. Repeat that six times around, and that will give us 18 stitches. Next, we'll switch from the pink yarn to the flesh tone yarn. If I was on the ball, I just wouldn't have completed this stitch with the pink, but rather switch to the flesh tone. But here we are. So with the two pink loops on the hook, I yarn over and pull up a loop out of the new color and then continue to the next round. And the next round is single crochet in the next two stitches and then increase in the third. Repeat that six times around, that will give us 24 stitches in total. At the end of this round, I like to secure both tails with a knot and cut off the extra bit. Moving right along, round six is single crochet in the next three stitches, followed by an increase. Repeat this six times around for a total of 30 stitches. And a surprise visit from my ferret, this is Honey. She didn't stay long, she has important Honey things to do. For round seven, you might think that we would single crochet in the next four stitches, which would work. However, to mix it up a bit and to help from getting lumps where the increases are happening, this round is a little different. So for this one, we'll single crochet in the next two stitches, then increase, then single crochet in the next two stitches, and repeat that six times around for 36 stitches in total. Round eight is back to the normal formula. We'll single crochet in the next five stitches, then increase, and repeat that six times around for 42 stitches. Round nine is a mix-up round again, so we're splitting the six single crochets into two parts. For this round, we'll single crochet in the next three stitches, then increase, then single crochet in the next three stitches, and repeat that around six times, which gives us 48 stitches in total. Round 10 is seven single crochet, followed by an increase, 
repeated six times around for 54 stitches in total. The next six rounds are 54 single crochet each. The next round is where we start decreasing the size. We'll begin with a decrease, then single crochet in the next 7 stitches, and repeat that 6 times around, leaving us with 48 stitches. For round 18, we're decreasing by 6 again, so we'll start with a decrease, then single crochet in the next 6 stitches, repeated 6 times. That will leave us with 42 stitches. The next round is a decrease, followed by 5 single crochet, repeated 6 times around. That leaves us with 36 stitches. Now we want to decrease a bit more aggressively than just the six per round. So for this round, we'll decrease the entire way around, which will be 18 decreases and leave us with 18 stitches. Try to really get the decreases nice and tight. I find working so many at a time can make it hard to avoid little gaps showing through. For the next round, we'll decrease 9 times, which will leave us with 9 stitches in total. Next, we'll grab some polyfill and stuff this boob. Before we close the hole on the back, I'm going to make a lump and insert it into the boob. I know it's not what any of us want to find in our boob, but it can be helpful to teach about self-exams if there's actually something in there to find, something to feel. So for the soft lump, you can use any color of yarn, it won't be visible at all. And we'll start by chaining 21. Next, single crochet 20. Then chain one, turn, and single crochet 20 again. And the last row is the same. Chain one, turn, single crochet 20. To make the soft lump, roll the piece into a ball and secure it in place using the tail and a darning needle. Insert the lump into the boob, make sure it can be felt in there, 
and adjust your stuffing if needed. For my second boob, I tried a different lump. For this one, instead of crocheting something, I thought I'd just put a plastic bead in there. Turns out it was too small to actually be felt through the stitches, so then I thought maybe if I wrap it in tape to make it larger. Which did work, and you can feel it in there. So I'm going to finish stuffing boob number two. Close the hole on the back of both boobs using a darning needle and the attached tails. And we have a finished pair of education boobs, edu boobs, <laughs> complete with lumps. The crocheted soft lump is easier to make and to find than the bead that was wrapped in tape. So that's the version that I'll include in the pattern, which is linked below. Thank you so much for watching.